Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a heart rate monitor in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So, let's get started. First of all open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it the background. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the toolbar, and select the rectangle tool. Set the fill color to solid white color. Then double click on the rectangle tool. Rename it to grid small or whatever name you like. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect grid. Drag and drop to the shape layer. Change the size from corner point to width and height sliders. Change the width and height value to 25. And border value to 3. Change the color to green. Select the shape layer, and make it duplicate by pressing the Ctrl plus D key on the keyboard. Rename it to Grid Large. Change the width and height value to 200. Change the border value to 5. Then change the color to white. Go to the layer, then new, and select the solid with the same green color. Drag and drop just below the shape layers. Select the rectangle tool. Change the color to black. Double click the rectangle tool to create a shape. Rename it to Vignette. Go to the toolbar, and select the Ellipse tool. Then click this little icon which is Tool Create Mask, and create a mask. Click the inverted checkbox. Press F to open Mask Feather. Change the feather amount to 300. Select the grid small, and grid large shape layers, and press D to open opacity, and decrease the opacity to 50%. Cool. Our background composition is ready. Let's move to the next step. Go to the file, and import the heart rate image. Yes, we are going to trace this shape with the pen tool. Create a new composition. Rename it to main composition. Drag the background composition to the main composition. Then drag the heart rate shape image. Lock the image layer. Select the pen tool. Then change the fill color to none. And change the stroke value to 12 pixels and the stroke color to red. Now, zoom in the screen and start tracing the shape. Let me do it faster to save your time. Cool. Now, delete the heart rate image. We don't need it. Select the shape layer, and change the stroke value to 10 pixels, and change the stroke color to white. Rename the shape layer to heart rate. Click this little add button, 
and choose trim paths. Under the trim paths, add a keyframe on the end value, and decrease the end value to 0%. Go to about 3 seconds forward, and change the end value to 100%. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Let's make it fade out. I am going to show you my own method. Go to layer, then new. And select the solid. Right click on the solid layer. And go to the layer style. And select gradient overlay. Go to the gradient option. Change the angle to 180 degrees. Select the gradient layer, and press the P key on the keyboard to open position. Make sure you are at the first frame. Select the move tool. Then drag the gradient to the left side, and add a keyframe. Go to about 4 seconds on a timeline. Then drag it to the right side of the screen. Click this toggle switches, modes button. Select the heart rate layer. Go to track mat, and select luma mat. Cool. Select both layer, and make it duplicate. Then drag both layers for about 4 seconds. Select the layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Go to effects and presets, search the effect glow. Drag and drop to the screen. Change the glow radius value to 30. and change the glow color from white to green. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Let's change the heart rate color from white to light green. Cool. Now, unlock the background layer. Then select both layers. And enable the 3D option. Go to the layer, then new. And select the camera. Go to the camera options. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type wiggle open parenthesis, 2 comma, 22 then close parenthesis. Let's preview it again. Cool. It looks fantastic and more realistic heart rate monitor. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like button if you find this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Good luck.